everyone, this is Sandra. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm back with another makeup look. Um, I just have to let you guys know that this week I did not get to a date night look because I went out for date night, but I did my makeup a lot earlier in the day and I just, I didn't film. I was in a busy, I was in a rush. Um, so we're just going to change things up a bit. And we're actually having a barbecue with friends today. So I'm going to quickly do my makeup again. I always feel like I'm in a rush, especially on days when I just need to get my stuff done. Okay, so I'm actually using my Tarte Double Duty Beauty um, Shape Tape, the hydrating formula, just because this is kind of slowly decreasing. It's one of my favorites. It's not, it hasn't ever been a favorite. I just wanted to try it when I first saw it come on the market. Oh! I've put this on my face and look, I've already forgotten to prime. Holy smokes. So I actually want to show this. I used this the other day and I got this um, when I purchased a sale product at Sephora. Um, this is the Becca Skin Love Brighten and Blur Primer. And it works really nice, but it also has like a watermelon scent. This is what it looks like. It's not really skin color. It's kind of like a light pink. So it has brightening, brightening particles in it, but it smells so pretty. And this is something I definitely like to buy in a full size. So that is one of the things on my wish list. And it is a brightening and blurring. So it feels, I'm going to say it feels like it has some silicone in there because it has that same texture as like a Smashbox photo finish does. But this stuff, honestly guys, it smells amazing. So if you want to check that out or if you have, let me know. Um, I think I'm going to be buying that anyway because it seems to be a really nice product. So like I said, I'm going to be doing this fast. I need to get this makeup done. I'm not going to be putting tons of makeup on, but I do want to do um, kind of like the basics. Eyebrows for shizzle. Taking my Real Techniques Makeup Miracle Complexion Sponge and just going at this and we will be right back. So my face looks really good. I'm going to quickly go in with the C13 Magic Stir Concealer by Jeffree Star. This one has a little bit more of a pink undertone, but I'm just going to put under my eyes because we are going to bronze the rest of the face today. I don't need a like a heavy contour. I'm not going on a date night. Um, I'm going to be in my backyard. I'm just going to put a little bit more of that um, Jeffree Star Magic Star Concealer over top that to cover up that peach tone there. Brighten it up a bit and that should work better, I think. And we're going to set with, of course, ooh. Okay, I was going to say my hourglass, but I'm going to use my Jeffree Star Magic Star Powder. And I'm actually using the banana shade because it's a little darker. I wanted my under eye to be bright, but I'm going to be bronzing my face. So we really don't need like a really bright powder. Going in with my sponge, I'm going to do a slight bake. I usually don't bake. We are going to today. I feel like that made my under eyes look a little yellow. So I feel like almost um, it's probably a good idea to not bake with a banana shade. <laughs> I'm just going to use a little bit of my Cody Airspun on top, see if I can brighten that up. Definitely for the remainder of the face. It's not so much the um, formula that I have trouble with baking with Jeffree Star. His formula is great. In this instance, it was definitely the shade, but that looks really, really good. And now we will use the banana powder by Jeffree Star just to set the remainder of the face. Oh, powder everywhere. Lordy. Okay, and we're just going to put a little bit of this powder, set my face. Yeah, absolutely. For the rest of the face, I would definitely recommend a darker powder, especially if you have tan skin or if you're planning on bronzing it up. Definitely a better idea. So I actually don't want to go in with too much product today, which is why I'm just going to use the Too Faced uh, Cocoa Contour Palette. Usually when I put on the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula, it's really, really light for me. And if I build it up, I can get a really nice color. But I don't want to have tons of product on my face. So I'm just going to go in with one of the darker shades in here and just start to bronze a little bit. And I'm not really going to warm up the temples. I'm just going to tap the brush in all three of these colors on the bottom. And maybe like that orangey color to warm up the face a bit more. And lightly dust the cheeks. Stuff smells so nice. Bronze the nose, forehead. So obviously I love this palette mostly for contour because it is all matte shades. But... When I'm looking for a day when I'm not wanting a whole bunch of shimmer on my face, this is also a really, really nice option. And you guys, if you have been watching, you know that I don't like shimmery bronzer. I can deal with a physician's formula because it's more of a satin finish rather than a shimmer or like a sparkle per se. But the Pineapple Paradise by Too Faced collection 
that strobe strobing uh, bronzer and highlight duo. I can't do that bronzer because it's just too too potent for me and I would rather use that honestly as more of a shadow than anything. Okay, I feel like that looks pretty natural. I think I like this. Looks good. So I'm actually going to go in now to do my brows. So I'm just going to quickly do that off camera and we'll be right back. So I just want to show you which products I used for my brows. I used my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz and this is the shade Chocolate today. And I filled them in with this Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer in Soft Brown. I have been enjoying this because I feel like it gives my brows a little bit more movement, a little bit more um, of a natural look without, like, they're still full and volumized, if that makes sense. So next, we are going to use some blush. I'm going to go in with my uh, Tarte Hamptons Weekender palette here, just this mini baby palette. I'm going to use my F10, of course. And I'm going to go into the shade Summer House. So it is the shade in the middle. This is the bronzer. This is the highlight. That's the blush. This is one of my favorite shades of blush by Tarte. Give a little smile and just slightly dust the cheeks. And I just gently bring it up into the contour. And I think I'm going to go for more of a natural eye look today. I want to use a colored shadow. But I also want to use a colored liner. Like I have a really thick colored liner and then just do crazy ass mascara. I think that would look really really pretty and I think that's probably what we're going to do and we can still kind of highlight the inner corner because I was kind of thinking of using black liquid liner just to make my eyelash line look really really dark but then I guess you know I, I, I just I want color but I don't want to do eyeshadow right now because we're running out of time. I'm going to use this electric blue by Wet n Wild it's called Wet n Wild Mega Liner. I have used this on my channel before, and this is the shade Voltage Blue. And you can still buy this one. I think I mentioned that there was a green one that I was in love with, and man, they discontinued it because, you know, as soon as they find out somebody's favorite, they get rid of it, right? Alright, so I'm going to make a fairly thick line so that we can see the liner here. And I like this brush. It's a fiber brush. Um, they used to have an actual brush, and then they went and changed it, so it's just like a little... Um, all one piece kind of like a brush pen. So I'm not really going to do a wing or anything but We're just going to bring it up at the edge a little bit just like that So you can really see the pop of blue in my eye. This stuff wipes away really easy with water So if you do make a mistake, you can just take a q-tip dipped in water and it comes off super easy So that is it for the liner and now I am just going to go in with my my flower beauty shimmer and strobe highlighting palette and I might add a little bit of highlighter just to brighten the rest of my face. So I'm going to take my highlighter brush. This is my tapered highlighter F35. I'm going to go into the champagne shade, which is my favorite. Lightly dust my nose here. A little bit on the chin, a little bit on the cheek. And that's it for that. But we will keep it out because, again, we'll do the inner corner. I'm just going to use my E30 pencil brush here. Just put a little bit on the inner corner. I find that that new the Tarte Tardiest, the Tardiest Pro Glow has a really nice highlighter as well. It's very, very bright, and that is slowly becoming one of my new favorites. I just, I think I need to use it more, but I think I'm really enjoying that. And a little bit underneath the brow here. I might do a lipstick, but I might also just settle for a gloss. Let's go in with mascara. I want to show you guys, I want to use this stuff again, even though it kind of flakes every now and then, but this Too Faced um, Damn Girl Mascara. I love that name. I'm just going to use this. Look at this brush. That is huge. It's huge. And I find it's a little awkward to just get in there and like put mascara on your lashes. But once you do, your lashes really do pop. Be careful. Like I find that once it dries, it does start getting super flaky. So if you do are like one of those people like me who likes putting on lots and lots of coats, um, just be aware of that because it will get kind of flaky on you. I'm not sure if this stuff is released yet. I would probably get like a notification of a new arrival. This stuff is awesome. So I would recommend this mascara. And I definitely like it. I like the brush better than the better than sex. I'm always a sucker for new mascara, so anything that comes out new, even if it's by uh, L'Oreal or... I haven't really used Maybelline mascara that much. I'm not really a fan of Maybelline, but L'Oreal mascara has always been one of my favorites. And not even the Lash Paradise. I don't like that one. But like the voluminous ones, those are my favorite. They've always been. And I think, actually, you know what? There is a Maybelline mascara that's one of my favorites. I wonder if I have it here. I know this is completely off topic, but I do have one here show you and this one is actually quite nice okay it's called the total temptation this one here 
that's actually really nice too. Um, that is one of my favorites. So the Total Temptation by Maybelline or the L'Oreal Voluminous. Those are awesome drugstore mascaras. And of course, I always go for like the darkest, the blackest black or the carbon black or whatever you can find. For people with blonde hair or really light eyelashes, you might want to get brown because it'll look a little bit, it, it, oh, it won't even look more natural. It'll just look better unless you're doing a full glam makeup look, in which case go for black, baby. So this eyelash, I'm having some trouble making it look spread out because they want to stick together. So actually that's a problem with the liner. I think I actually got some of that blue liner on my lashes and now I'm having trouble making them look um, spread out and natural. <laughs> so um, just keep that in mind. I think that looks pretty good. It's as good as I'm gonna get. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with my skin today. And even though I say I don't like that foundation, I just, I like, like I said this before, I have a lot of foundation. So I cycle through them days, you know, my skin might be feeling um, a little bit not as dry and it just kind of depends on the day. It depends on the products you use, depends on a lot of stuff. So it's nice to cycle through your products to see what you're loving and what you're not currently loving. I haven't had any like project pans or stuff like that. I don't know if I if I would do that. You guys who also have makeup channels, the people that we're all just kind of starting out together, do you guys do that? I'm, I've always been curious. Um, I see a lot of other makeup artists and um, makeup beauty influencers have what's called a project pan and so they take um, items that they're close to hitting pan on or that they've hit pan and they either pop out the little um, like blush palette or eyeshadow pan and most of them that come in the cases nowadays are magnetic so you pop it out and you can buy cases I think from anywhere but Tarte has some and you just put them in or you take out the ones that you don't like and get rid of them and then keep the ones you like um, and then you just kind of work on those products to use them up so you're not wasting your makeup. Um, I haven't done that because honestly most of my makeup is fairly new and I haven't come to that yet. But like how do you guys do it? But yeah, let me know what you guys do and um, we'll see you next time. So this is it for this video. This is the completed look. The only thing I might do here is take some of my Morphe Continuous Mist Setting Spray and just spray my face. And that just kind of gives your face a little bit more of a natural glow. Um, it's got a, a luminous finish to it. So it just looks really, really pretty. So you guys have a wonderful day. We will see you next week for a brand new week. Um, I have been posting every day for a really, really long time. I'm just going to slow it back on the videos a little bit. So I'm going to go back to Monday, Wednesday, and Friday posting. So we will see you on the next Wednesday because I believe... I will be posting my weekly plan with me for Monday. So have a wonderful day. We will end this video now. Take care, you guys.